All right, so this is a Canon PowerShot Elf 100 HS. This is a old camera, but it shoots in HD, and um, it worked fine. But in order to make it mine, I customized it. So first off, this was a very sleek and small camera. This grip section was not here. Um, I added that and it is perfectly customized for my fingers. So I can really hold this camera tight by custom with this little customization. It's much more comfortable for my hands because I can I can also hold it like this um, and and get a nice shot. Um, I'm using a camera as an example because it's it's an easy one. It's also got a little wind muff on it. Um, really inexpensive modification. Um, this is Plumber's Epoxy Putty, which I've used a lot to customize things. So that's that's one example of customization. Um, another customization is here's a simple mechanical pencil with a silicone grip on it that makes it much more comfortable. It's a little fatter um, and more comfortable to hold. And I've got more things here that I've customized. Um, so that's, that's another simple example. Um, here's a slightly more complicated example. This is a case that I use to carry around my SD cards and batteries for my cameras. Um, this was a diabetic supply kit um, for an old meter, I think that I that broke. Um, so it's got a nice sturdy zipper. Uh, and then on the inside, this is where the customization came in. Uh, it's got a pocket where I can hold all five of my camera batteries when they're fully charged. Only fully charged batteries go in here. Uh, and then in the back, this pocket was not Velcro, but I added a few Velcro dots. I keep um, the battery for the camera that I'm shooting with right now on there, in, in that little pocket. And that keeps it from falling out. And over here, I've got a little mint tin. And this mint tin is just an Altoid Smalls. It's one of their smooth ones. Uh, inside, I um, lined it with peel and stick craft foam, put a little Velcro in there, and this holds six SD cards. Um, nice and cushioned, and the Velcro just holds that tight. And then these are what I store my uh, micro SD card adapter in. I've also got a couple in there with micro SD cards in them, um, so that goes in there. And then I can actually store uh, a couple of micro SD cards in here. So, and then I used Sharpie oil-based markers to add color and label these. Um, and what I found is that um, <laughs> these were getting lost on my desktop. I would peel this out take it over to my desk, and then um, because this was kind of clear, it just kind of blended in. Um, and this is where I put the cards that need to be formatted after I put them into my phone. You'll also see that there's some little peel and stick Velcro dots. Each one of these card cases got a soft fuzzy on the back side of it that attaches in there like that. This attaches in here like that and everything is tidy and easy and it's basically recycled materials because um, this this would have ended up in the trash um, these are what the SD cards arrive in and I know a lot of people just toss these they end up in the trash this is a recycled Altoid Small. I might I might do some work like uh, decorating that. Might get a little, little skull on it and then my name on it too. Um, so yeah, that's some some basic customization stuff. I'm trying to 
I've got other stuff for customization, um, but I don't have it here with me. Uh, we'll talk more about customization for sure. Um, oh, and if I weren't using it, I'd show you the tripod that I fixed. Um, I'm also going to splice in here some video I took of me repairing a light that I picked out of the trash, uh, which will become my studio lighting. And also I got a water bottle um, out of lost and it wasn't lost and found, it was left over from an employee that left the company. Um, but there are a couple of water bottles that I'm sanding down and I'm gonna create art on. And I've made like something way more awesome than the original bottle. And that will end up getting gifted to someone. But for water bottles and things like that, I'll talk more about these. These are Sharpie oil-based and they do have a bit of an odor, but these are the lowest odor paint markers um, that are oil-based that have an enamel in them that I found. I've tried a couple of others from Amazon and they were kind of awful. These ones are pretty good. And those are what I used on this water bottle, the one with the brain on it, as well as this camera. Um, one of the things that I do with a lot of my cameras is, especially if I'm going to do some outdoor shots, I cover up the logos. Because um, when you are, depending on where you're shooting, like I'm, I'm in a kind of rough city a lot of the time, um, you don't necessarily want the Canon logo or, you know, your Sony or Panasonic logos out in, in view, because that makes them a target for theft. And really, if you saw this camera, would you really think to steal it? Because it looks like a toy. And that's kind of the point. Like, it's covering it up, it's changing it so that it, it doesn't look like something that's worth stealing. All right, so um, that's philosophy number three. And um, yeah, I'm gonna cut the video here. And thanks for listening, thanks for watching. And there'll be a bunch of artsy fartsy stuff in there.